what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Fill my heart with song, let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. Maybe I'm 
I'm just feeling old Like a lawyer with no one to blame I'm headed home Yeah, but I'm not so sure Home is a place that'll ever Gather up our things And we head out in the cold In your eyes Are where you carry the pain When I hear the whistle weeping It's crying to the sky It's the rhythm of the southbound train It's the rhythm of the southbound train Here at Dover Gorge, we really like having fun with each other. We like splashing water. We like having good, wholesome family time. Now, if you didn't notice, back here we have a splashing brigade, and that's only for one reason. It's hot outside, and people like to get wet. Here at Dover Gorge, we have what is called the Sidetrack Cafe. Let me show you around. Right here is the drinks, and right here is the candy, and if you keep walking up here a little bit, we have cappuccino. I mean, ca capo cappuccinos, cappuccinos. And uh, if you keep walking through here, we have uh, some delicious, wholesome um, Hawaiian ice, and. The, the flavors are strawberry, blue raspberry, cherry, grape, lime, and orange. And then right here is the ice cream. If you head out here, we have the del <laughs> You're gonna have to... You're gonna have to like, go around. I, I can't... Just... Go around the building and come around to the front. Oh, yeah, go. Just, just try to hurry. Um, I can't get to you. Yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> All right. Oh god. Oh, this is, stop rolling. Just cut the camera off. This is dumb. Kyle, stop filming! Kyle!
as you can see, I'm sitting in the most extreme thing that we have here at Dead River Gorge, a kayak. And right over there, that's a blob. That's just two of many things we can do here at Joe River Gorge's Lake, where fun happens and excitement is displayed from friends and family all around. And, and thanks, Joe River Gorge. River Gorge, we really encourage each other by supporting one another, physically and mentally. As you can see here, as you can see here, I'm holding a ladder for somebody. I'm supporting her climbing up the ladder. She's doing a great job. You're doing a great job. She's, she's doing fantastic. And so, a big part of what we do here is supporting one another. Like, for example, if you look at Adam Clark right here, He's belaying like no other. Like, honestly, I've never seen anybody belay this way. It's just fantastic. It's really encouraging to me to see that you I'm really things. bad at my job, but he's great. Thanks, Joe River Gorge.
here at the Static Challenge course, they don't lie. It is staticky. As you can tell, I'm pretty hyped up on static right now and electricity. If you didn't notice, all around me are campers and staff members. Right there's Holly Birdsong. A beautiful specimen indeed. Now what we now what we're really going for here is community. That's what the static challenge course is for. As you can see by this rope bridge up here, it just screams unity. The way the knots are tied, it's brilliant. Simply brilliant. Thanks, Doe River Gorge. getting to know everybody better and just hanging out as a family. It's really cool to have some great sisters of Christ who will just challenge you and um, just be real with you. And it's also really awesome for me to like find some brothers in Christ who um, who are just that, like big brothers. And it's it's been so much fun and awesome. Oh my goodness. What can I say about this summer? I really have no words. It's been challenging, it's been phenomenal, it's been extravagant. My <laughs> funniest memory at Doe River Gorge was when me and Davey Parker and Josh Hubbard were doing luggage on Sunday and Davey found a chapstick on the ground and it was Sprite flavor. And then Josh cut off the top of it and Davey put it on his lips and it was sparkly white everywhere and it tasted like Sprite, says he. But it was really funny because he walked around with white lips. He had to be there, I guess. All right, so my favorite memory this summer would have been when on um, the first week, Shannon was out there at the Via Ferrata with us, and uh, Chrissy pulled the singer. Um, and uh, 
Shannon got peed on, and then he scared away a bear. This is Sparta! My favorite memory here at Joe River Gorge is every Wednesday because it's Star Wars Wednesday. My favorite memory of the summer probably is Billy and all of his crazy shenanigans. Like when <laughs> every window does phonetic punctuation. It doesn't matter if it's the first or 50th time, Billy breaks down hysterically laughing. Watching Cameron Bowling get puked on by Quester 40 feet in the air on the Via Dolorosa. Funniest moment from the summer would be me and Jesse having a war over counselor of the day helmet and neither one of us wanting to get it because we both wanted the other one to have it because we felt like the other one deserved it more. One day we were outside playing games or something. Uh, I knew it was gonna rain, so I like packed my bag full of all these trash bags, and um, we were out playing with the kids um, outside, and it just started downpouring. And everybody was like, they're standing there, they didn't know what to do, and so I like whipped all these trash bags out of my bag, and I was like, everybody get a trash bag and go to the hill. And so we like go running up there, and we all get these trash bags, and we just like start sliding down the hill like sleds. One of my favorite aspects of the summer was just looking back onto the spiritual retreat, specifically when we were painting pots and um, just sitting there with my group of girls at the table painting and I didn't really know any of the girls at the time, but looking back um, to those girls now, they're some of my closest friends. So um, that's just really cool to look back and see how God put us all together and then grew our friendship from there. It's been really cool being able to work with uh, those people on Team Shield, like uh, Rachel James, Katie Fox, Seth Perry, and uh, seeing their heart for discipleship and ministering to people and learning ways to be proactive and on purpose about that sort of ministry uh, myself.
this summer I learned that sometimes it can be really hard to keep loving someone even when they don't love you um, but everyone needs your love because Christ gives everyone love and so you have to keep pouring that out no matter what happens One thing I learned in the, you know, tons of weeks I've been working here this summer, all four of them, would probably be like just to be still and know that He's God and know that He will provide as the great provider. You can't even get close to putting a price on any of what I've learned because it, turn, it will help me turn to be the man that God intended me to be later on in life. I never thought coming into this summer that I would have friends like the ones that I've made, um, but God has really blessed me with meeting some incredible people and he brings incredible people here. So I want to say thank you for always being there for me and I look forward to keeping up with you. I would like to say thank you for being Jesus to me. I would like to say thank you for ministering to me <clears throat> for helping me grow, for showing me just what 90, 80 go other college kids can do in a summer. Um, it's been such a blessing to get to know each and every one of you. I love you guys more than words can even express. I had a great time working with y'all, and uh, it was just a blessing to learn from you guys. There are no words that can describe my experience with this year's summer staff, I have everything to say, yet nothing to say because I can't pick just one thing. But I love you all and I look forward to just fellowshipping with you more as I get to know you more. To the summer staff of 2009, you guys um, are the best and you know that. And um, you guys are like a second family to me and I love you more than I thought I ever would or could. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, the unity, the compassion, the joy, everything, and you brought you know joy to me by just being a part of my life this summer, and I praise God for you, I thank God for you. I'll miss you guys so much, and I love you guys. Shamu, he's hungry, and he wants some Jesse. Thanks, Del River Gorge. All right, you know, you know what? Uh, you won't win now. You're a girl. You go out there. You go out as a man. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. Y'all really want me to do this, huh? Yeah. Or we could chase you and up do there, it. and you could run out yeah. over the top of the blob deck and jump on the blob. <laughs> blob deck. <You> chase you <laughs> up the lake. Can you do that? Can you please do that? Please. Terry, that'd be hilarious. Up this hill right here, cross in front of the side track, and you run up over the blob deck, and then just jump off onto the blob and roll into the water. Please. Nobody please, other, please. Nobody but please. you has to get wet. Nobody has to touch you. Oh, Cherry, Cherry, do that. The whole time. Please, do that or we we'll kill please. you. I want to thank all the summer staff this, this summer for the great job you've done, the, the ministry effort you've put forth, and I want to give a special thanks to the all the people that worked in the kitchen, whether it be special ops or whether it be the uh, just the kitchen staff. But I want to especially thank Dewan. You did a great job, super job, best I've ever had in the kitchen. I just appreciate you so much. And, and I want to thank Pablo, the great job you did working those trucks and, and doing the job you did there. And, and you guys sure ate a lot of food this summer. And I want you to pay the bill. We'll put it on your checks as you leave. It's really great to see kids' lives change forever because of uh, what they've experienced here. And uh, a big part of that is what you all have done. So I really am, uh, I am happy to have spent some time getting to know you and uh, work alongside you. Uh, Especially my track two people. You guys are awesome.
Ken. What? What? Terry's back early. What? What? Terry came Terry's back. back. Terry's back? Yeah, from oh. Alaska. He came back early. He's back. Wait, where's where's all the kids? Are we? Where? Oh no. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. They could have chose to go anywhere, but they chose to come to Dover River Gorge and to see their sacrifices this summer has been absolutely amazing to me. Um, and to see the impact that they've had on these kids, um, I, I'm just I, I am truly in awe of what they have done. Um, uh, this place is just amazing, and to see these kids impacted in the way they have this summer has just been unbelievable. I know a lot of y'all have been tired and sick and weary and um, I just want you to know how much we appreciate that and um, just how much um, it means to us as well as to those you're serving this summer and um, just look forward to keeping in touch with you guys and hearing your stories as you um, continue your journey in school and in life. It's a privilege to see you all hanging in there every day and doing it all over again every day. It's a, it's a tough haul but you got it done. Appreciate all your hard work. Are you real? I'm Spencer. I'm Nicole. I'm Kennedy. I'm Kennedy. Are we? I'm Arwen. Ready? Okay, go. Arwen, say it. Come on, Oliver. And we're the Teals. Woo! Okay, now. All right. What do you want me to do now? Actually, we'll give you just just you're just gonna, take off. You're gonna run your shoes. Run your shoes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're going to chase you up to the top, Bob, and then you're just going to run off the edge and into the water. You know, one of the things that has impressed me this year is um, how the summer staff has been such awesome role models to my own kids. Um, they have loved my kids. They have spent time having fun with my kids. They let my kids drive them crazy. But I can't think of any... Um, group of people that I would rather see my kids um, use as role models as the summer staff people that we've had here. Okay, summer staff, we are so happy that we made it a whole summer and we just wanted to say something that would uh, make you happy. All right, you ready? Okay, Tills, let's go. Okay. Y'all were great. The, uh, what it was, the arms, the legs, and the feet around here. You had a big part in all the kids that came to know Christ. And that's, sometimes we forget that when we're right in the middle of camp. That's what we're here for. Hey there, buddy. Oh, yeah, the camera. <laughs> here. Here. Where's the you go? Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, oh why? <laughs> That I love this staff more than any other staff we've ever had. And I think that it's been the fastest week or the fastest summer, but definitely a growing summer and have memories and things that'll just last a lifetime. Some things I'd rather just have not had happen. The yellow rain showers. And many people telling it over and over and over. They can't let a good thing just die. So uh, I guess I'll live in infamy for the singer. Driver Gorge Summer staff, thank you guys so much. You guys have been amazing. We could not have made it without you. We're very thankful for your servant's hearts and just for your willingness to serve God wherever it might have been. We're very thankful. Thanks. Uh, uh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Thanks, rock. though. It was going to say you rock. <laughs> yeah, it looked so cool last year. Anyway. Huh. Uh, Maybe y'all could do it. Maybe your family. I know I'm going to miss y'all. And uh, it's definitely not going to be the same without you. But uh, I pray that God uh, use this experience in your life to mature you and um, just to impact you in a way that you're never going to forget. Uh, know that you always have a special place here and in our hearts and uh, always welcome back. What do you say, you know? Love you guys. I mean it.
Yeah. We are the Jensen family, and we think you guys are incredible, incredible, superheroes, super fast. Say awesome. Yeah. We love you guys. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you rock! Now on the front of the sidetrack. Just, just go, up the hill, go. 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 Just run up the hill. Up the hill. Up the hill. Yes, yes, go, 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 go. Hold on, go, go. Hold on, go. 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 Had such a great time playing and working and crying with you guys and studying with you guys and just ministering alongside and it has been an amazing summer. Probably, I would call it, if it could be a restful summer, this was a restful summer. My spirit was, my spirit was renewed because of you guys and the work that you do. It never happens. I mean, to this degree, and it was a really neat privilege and honor to to, to be with you guys and serve with you. But the uh, my gratitude is uh, actually it has to be directed to the Lord. But man, oh man, you guys did such a great job this summer. Consistently well done, your your work. And I'm speaking from my wife as well as myself. Um, she was not able to be here, but she said, please mention that she recognizes the unsung heroes. There are folks that sort of blend into the background, that don't get the stage time, that don't get the, uh, the time in front of the kids, but you guys are unsung heroes, in our book anyway, and I'm sure I can speak for the rest of the staff. Couldn't do it without you. And um, I just want to tell you all, y'all been awesome. I, I didn't get to hang out with um, really Y'all, all summer, I got to talk to a couple of you, but y'all have been uh, awesome and truly grateful to have you guys, and I hope you get some rest. And all right, it has been an absolute joy working with you guys. If, if uh, all the Christian work was working with a group this great, it'd be heaven. And one day it will be, right? Amen. Right. Woo. Yeah, y'all have been great. Y'all come back. I will be and, next uh, year. Probably as a uh, lead, hopefully. Let's do it again. Party Serving the Lord together. If I were a boy, even just for a day, I'd roll out of bed in the morning and throw on what I wanted and go. Drink beer with the guys and chase after girls. I kick it with who I wanted and I never get confronted for it. Cause they stick up for me If I were a boy I think I could understand How it feels to love a girl I swear I'd be a better man I listen to